everyone to this very special mashup or smash up, depending on how you do your potatoes. Edition. Coffee with, ah, you see what I did there? Coffee with Jimmy James and Connections for Life. Uh, before we get started, as I normally do, I was thinking about our, our, you know, coming up on our year anniversary of doing our first mashup. And I was thinking about how we all met or how I met everybody. And it goes back to James, you know, TGA, we connected on LinkedIn beforehand. And when we got to TGA, we literally embraced. embraced. Like, <laughs> lovingly, like, man hugs. Like that? Yep, man hugs. Yep. Ted, I it's a different know. time. This is pre-COVID. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Pre-COVID. Yeah, this was years ago. Ted and I have just met virtually. Might be some issues there. Uh, that a lot of times. A lot You'll of times. You'll be thankful. Thankful of that. You'll be thankful of that. <laughs> Had we were at the Kentucky Gas Association Expo and we passed by each other saying explicitives and somebody in your company is like, what is going on? And you're like, oh, that's just Jim's Tammy. So no, Tammy's Jim. That's what it is. And then there comes to Joe, Joe Surratt. I think it was San Francisco, <laughs> a origami and yoga convention. I thought it was New Orleans, September 9th, 2009. Oh, call back. Uh, we never spoke of that again. <laughs> But how wonderful it is to bring everybody together for a little uh, uh, touch base on our year anniversary, just coming up on our year anniversary. To One our- month away. We, we yeah. just looked it up in the pre-show. Which, yeah. by the way, I don't know about y'all, but the pre-show is becoming a lot more fun than the show every time we have it. <laughs> it always guests. is. We we literally were talking about that with our last guest the other day. We're like, we should just start recording and then mix all the stuff together. Yeah. We if we weren't language, all though. such liabilities, yeah. That's right. We have bad yeah. language. Yeah. Like, the, the record button is our buffer to reality. That we can have. we just put TVMA up in the corner and that would... <laughs> that's the $5 version you pay for later. <laughs> Um, no, I just, I want to say thanks guys. You guys put this together. It was, it's awesome. As always, it's great seeing you. It's, it's incredible how much things have changed. Um, but also stay the same. Um, I, I think a year ago when we were doing this, we couldn't imagine that we'd be a year away, um, doing it still. Right. I think it was kind of like a temporary band aid to help us integrate and, and, and with our, with our customers and with our peers. And, and that was really the whole design, I think for both of our shows. Um, I think one of the biggest things for us is, um, you know, what we've gotten out of the experience. And I, I just want to ask you guys uh, specifically, like coming out on, onto a year, actually in over a year now, um, since we started this, what have you guys learned and what's been the most rewarding thing um, for you doing this, uh, doing this show? You know, just getting to hang out with y'all really, you know, <laughs> well, with, without it. lying, without yeah, lying. That is not that's my true. response. An even yeah, better poker face. No, <laughs> um, Jimmy, I'll go first. Uh, Please. I've, you know, a personal mission of mine over here in the past two or three years, and and even since I got in the industry, was trying to find a voice that was uniquely mine, but, you know, still authority and, and was able to, you know, reach as many people as possible. And this was almost like the, the fast forward button in a way. Um, and and that was exciting for, for myself personally to see also you know, going back, I'm sure y'all did it as well at different times, going back and looking at your episodes oh and seeing the growth and comfort, you know, it, a lot of it just comes yeah. from a comfort level. Today, thinking about a year ago and probably how much prep went into recording, even then it was fun. Mm-hmm. But now knowing we got on with really no script in mind <laughs> and really the pregame, the pre-store, you know, the pre-show was was just that, you know, hanging out and getting comfortable and getting ready. Um, the comfort level is just off the charts, which then opens your eyes to everything else that you might be able to do. So, you know, that's been a cool byproduct is finding a space where you're able to affect change and be yourself and doing it, I think, for myself. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the, the craziest thing is, and I wanted to just touch on what you just said. You know, when you first start this, you're really focused on what you're trying to say and how to say it. And I, and, and you, you lose some of that genuineness because you're so hyper-focused on trying to, you know, get through something. And, and now that you, right, right, you're in that little box. And, and I think the thing that makes our shows um, awesome and incredible is the fact that we, we aren't doing that. Yeah. I know the feedback, and I'm sure you guys have gotten it too. And Jim, I'll pass it over to you to answer the question in a second. But the feedback we get all the time is we love the show because 
it's not scripted and, and not tight a show. And it's because not, it's, not it, it's just an <laughs> open format. And I think that some people mm. um, really enjoy the, the, the ability to watch that and have the comfortability. Um, there's been people that have come to us from watching our show that said, I've known you for a long time, but now I feel like I really know you. Um, and I think that was the ultimate compliment to, to be able to get who we are um, onto a screen, onto a recording and not have it be, um, you know, just so tight and tense and scripted. So that was a big win that, for us, I think. That's all. That's also something I've really loved about y'all's show is that first part. Right? I tell Jim all the time, yeah. man, you know, we're losing right there. You guys are killing it on that part. I like the looseness of it and that conversational because, again, our original, just like y'all, when we went out there, was to try to recreate that, you know, those over coffee moments or, you know, at the bar moments that, that right. we experienced and sadly were ripped away, right? So, yeah. What about you, Jimbo? Well, it's it, it's a couple. It's, it's twofold. I would say first is just the connections that I have in the industry. As you all know, I have a few. So it's keeping up with them. And I, I tell you, the the keeping it real portion joe and guys you know like my little wacky intros people i get calls and texts all the time hey it's good to see that you're still in good spirits and you're still yeah. your same old self because everybody that knows me at trade shows or wherever it could be meetings i'll still crack some jokes because that's just who i am i like to lower the walls i like people to be like okay we're gonna we're going to unwind here. Even if it's in a business meeting, let's just take it easy. Let's relax. So it's nice to be able to get that through to people. And I would say, though, that this whole format, had it not been for this format, I think our industry would be really lacking over this last year is that our industry, oh, no. would be, now we bring a lot of education, a lot of fun facts, a lot of interest about our uh, and awareness about our industry to people and it's not just the energy folks it could be somebody in communications or wastewater or whatever they're like wow that's kind of cool i never knew that about the energy industry right. so yeah. if, you know if we can help educate people and let them learn one thing why that's a check mark right there that's a good thing 100%. Yeah. for sure i mean that was that was kind of what we were you know we did these expos right that was the whole premise of it it wasn't it had nothing to do with like the exposure it was just trying to keep that education moving and byproduct keep people exposure engaged my product, yeah and just yeah and just be engaged i, I don't want to steal your thunder because coves and and teddy i'd like you guys to kind of answer too like the last year from from your perspective what does kind of all that meant chad you want to go first or yeah i'll go first uh so we kind of when i when i told these two guys my idea back on probably april like 10th or something like that of last year they kind of both were like you're crazy and at that point i already had like i, I had a podcast of my own that was personal so i i kind of knew a little bit about that i've since given that that hobby up because i talked too much more. <laughs> um but so i kind of knew what it looked like a little bit never did it on youtube but man you know for the first up until three months ago i i kind of did all the video editing i tried to at least and, and i've i've grown exponentially from it and and the ability to just have conversation with myself essentially i mean i know you guys are there but really i'm, I'm sitting here talking to myself is, is pretty interesting um i think what we've done has been so impactful for our industry like you guys said i mean not that we're the most entertaining guys, but at least you can turn it on and find some education and find out some things about that you probably didn't know before that. And last and probably my favorite thing about all of it is that I, somewhere in here, I'm leaving, a, I don't want to call it a legacy, but something for my kids, my kid. And I know that means a lot to Joe too, because like our kids watch these things as strange as that is, you know, but uh, that means a lot to me because I'll be probably be on YouTube for the rest of YouTube until that goes away somehow. So it's uh, it's been awesome. It's been amazing, really. I mean, all these things we've done in, in such trying times, but it's it's been really cool and a lot of fun. Teddy, <clears throat> by you, Teddy. We did wow. schedule this in the middle of his nap time too. Yeah, he's, 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 he's he has his truck green over. screen going again. <laughs> yeah, I got, I'm I'm really good at this truck green screen thing. I changed the <laughs> angle of it behind me. I got it's it down. So smart, really innovation, good. innovation. <laughs> Listen, that's one thing that I've, I've learned in the last year is how to be lazy. All right, <laughs> that's what you got to do. Honestly, right? but but no, seriously. Uh, I did think it was a little off the wall when Chad brought the idea up to us. But I, 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 I think Joe and I will both agree to this. We both go, yeah, that's really got some great legs. We, but can we pull it off? Can we, can we make it happen? Can we do it? Because we're idiots in one regard. Like, we've never done anything like this before. And 
people listening to us talk and then we were nervous of like all right well hold on we gotta stay we gotta tell the company line we got to be like all right you know like we were talking about like you're talking about the pre-call shows and the pre-productions and stuff like that i mean we would i would make an agenda yeah with the questionnaire literally a piece of paper that i would we would send out to everybody before it and go joe you read here chad you answer here and then one day you didn't do it and this is what we ended up with (laughs) and and that was literally it like one day i had something crazy go on and i was like guys i didn't get an agenda made and we were like let's just swing it we got it put the questions in we'll be fine (laughs) that's it and that's all we've done for the last 49 episodes because i could only do it for like two weeks because i'm not that good at stuff um (laughs) The other thing, though, is is really watching, and, and I I, I want to give credit where credit is due. Chad had some forward thinking on this. Joe had some forward thinking on this. We were kind of the first, and you guys were right there. I don't know who went first out of. Uh, out we, were of about, we were literally like almost the same exact day. same exact yeah. day yeah. to the yeah. same. So then to see, like now, now a year later, there's other things popping up in the industry. Like, hey, we're gonna yeah. have a coffee hour. Hey, we're going to do a virtual talk show. Called connections. Hey, we're going to have a virtual learn, and it's all connections. And it's really funny to me because I'm like, yo, we did that first. We did that first. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> Coffee you know, for life. Yeah, I'm just yeah Coffee for life. That's a good one. Yeah. That's what we should name this one. It should be called connections for Jim and James. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm down with but, that. But, but, but there's that. And then the one other thing I, I will say is, You know, some of the like I've been getting back out on the road, as you can tell from recent episodes, and the feedback is genuine. Like guys are like, I love your episodes. Like, I didn't think that there would be any value to this when you forwarded me the link for it one day. And I was like, what is Ted sending me? And they're like, now I want to see you guys pick on each other every week. And then I want to hear the Uh informational thing at the end of it. And then how do you get these people to talk to you? Because they are way above your pay grade. And we're like, oh, <laughs> that is, that is a normal, out. very normal thing. I get that, to be the booking is, agent. <laughs> Joe yeah, is our, yeah, Joe yeah, is our yeah, official so. booking agent. That's yeah. funny. Y'all, that. That's funny. You say that because I'm, I'm sure y'all run into it as well. And this isn't a secret to anybody who's done any kind of interviews or shows like this, but it's funny how scared those folks, the guests yes. are to be on. Yeah. And in, and, you know, they are, they have an awesome title or they're, you know, leading a company doing far scarier things, <laughs> but we'll have two or three, you know, pre-shows to a pre-show to a recording oh, yeah. just to make sure everybody's good. And, you know, I think that personal touch is what's been, you know, success for both of us, but it is funny <laughs> to think of the comfort levels, like, like we joked about us just rolling in and doing this together. Yeah. You don't now. even think about it. We, we, now yeah. we don't even think twice yeah. about it oh. right and and for folks that are just kind of scratching the surface <laughs> we, there's a we lot had one like that last week yeah that was, that a was like super the nervous scenes, <laughs> a lot behind the scenes that goes on to book guests to you know produce them to get them done to promote it the whole package is is a big and i know jim and i are blessed to have a yeah. an awesome team that's been you know there with us doing doing a lot for us but uh as the show has grown in popularity and we've kept this pace uh it's going to be interesting as we start navigating as you know ted getting out there and on some of us how's the yeah. circuit going to look with things like this i think is the exciting part like doing I these do. live from two different spots three different you know five in a show like this but on the road how cool would that yeah. be meeting yeah. like, <clears throat> and i'll tell you one last thing is jimmy and i actually what two weeks ago now jim Jim came into the office and we got to see each other. And for Jim and I, that was the first time we've seen each other since. Did you guys hug actually? Like pre COVID? Well, I was wearing a mask. (laughs) And I was half vaccinated. So I think we were fine. With your history, you should have been wearing like one of those divers helmets. (laughs) We wore wore two masks. Yeah, we wore two masks uh, around Jim before it was cool. So I was going to say a double can gas mask. Yeah. Yeah. I just I wanted to say one thing about you. You touched on it, uh, James, about the um about the guests and the uncomfortability and how nervous they get. I think that that's one of the other awesome things about our shows is that because we're so loose in those pre calls, it allows people to feel more comfortable with being themselves. And I think that's a yeah. huge 
part of the success and why people are so comfortable being on the shows when they watch past episodes. Cause they, if they don't know going in and they watch a few and then they go, all right, like these guys are just, you know, kind of sh- just shooting the, you know, and and I knew you were going to say you almost did it. Didn't I didn't you? do it yeah. though. I didn't yeah. do it. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Edit. Um, <laughs> edit. Let's get that in post. You know, <laughs> you know, to build on that, Joe, a, a couple things. One, everybody hit on the pre and post production. For a 20 minute episode, people think, oh, that's easy. Just hit the record button. Just a checkbox, right? Hours. Episode yeah. done. Not, you know, I mean, of the people. It's an, it's that's an if you screw it up. It goes into it. <laughs> You know, but also, like you said, the uh, comfort level, one thing that I write to the folks or tell them, pretend that the three of us or the five of us are getting together at a trade show, haven't seen each other for a while, and we're just catching up. Just okay. have, don't think about the audience. Don't think about this going all over the internet everywhere. Just think about us just catching up and having a discussion. Yeah. Well, it's funny though because i take that all for granted i really do take it for granted that it could go over the internet and everybody everywhere could see me have a virtual cat in my head again like i yes. but I, see to me though to, to me it doesn't matter and i think sometimes with our guests like we, we had one a, a couple weeks ago that it was like uh you know you could just tell the uncomfort level a little bit and you're like look we're gonna do literally what we're doing now we're just gonna yeah. do it now and nobody's gonna curse right. <laughs> yeah. well, the only difference <laughs> I didn't get to answer my own question, but yeah, you I, wanted, didn't. I was going to ask you that, Joe. I, I wanted to say for me, um, the biggest, the, the most incredible thing for me is, is, is kind of what James said is that I love the fact that I've met so many more people that probably traditionally I would have never had an opportunity to have such meaningful conversations with and, yeah. and be able to, to, to know that when, when, and if not if, but when this ends, I can go back and have dinner or drinks with people that probably in the past wouldn't have allowed me to even have a conversation with them because we just came from different areas or different spectrums. We didn't do the same things. Um, but there, you know, there's that mutual friendship and respect of those people that come on that I think that like, that's one of the things that I'm so excited for, let's say trade, she- uh, trade show season to like go again, because I want to be able to go see people that, that I w- become friends with over a computer screen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's been a cool, cool thing for me. And it was the one thing that I never even thought about we would get out of this. Um, but it's probably the most um, rewarding thing that, that we've, that, that for me, that, that we've gotten. I'll never, gotten. I'll never forget, Joe. I'll never forget, Joe, when you called me in like after episode eight or nine, you were like, what are we going to do? Are we going to do this for a year? What can we do? And I was yeah, like, I yeah. think we're just going to keep Terrifying. doing it. And you were like, I don't know if we can. And I was like, we're just going to keep doing it. <laughs> I'm the yeah. ultimate freak out artist. That's for sure. I'll so, give you. So y'all probably, well, I don't, I, up, oh, go ahead, Ted. Go ahead. So, well, so what I was thinking when you said that, though, I don't know if we're trying to wrap this right now, but like that spurs a whole thought process of mine of like, to take it down a little bit of a direction where like we, we got kids and, and stuff like that. And our kids have grown up in a generation where they are friends with people via their mobile and their social yeah, media. Yeah. My kids have friends right? in Canada. Like that they that my kids have a ton of friends that they've never met, mm-hmm. right? Same. We're full grown, that's their normal though. We're full grown adults experiencing this during a global pandemic. And now we're like, all right. How do I do I say hi to this person when I see them? Because we talk oh, yeah. all the time on Skype. Oh, yeah. Like I don't know if I could proud. not say hi. <laughs> that, well, that's how we are. But like, imagine being a kid going through that. It makes sense what, though. That, it it was a crazy. Know. I don't know how my brain neurons. I did that. Yeah, that's the first time it's ever clicked all the way for you. Good job. I'm proud yeah. of that too for you. Listen, I'm going to be quiet now before I ruin the good part <laughs> of the day. That was the connections for life part. The connections part. Of the thing. <laughs> We've been trying to get <laughs> you there. He just beamed up for the mothership. <laughs> uh, let me jump in real quick i just want to expound on this one thing with this whole pandemic and this whole video comfortality that's a new word james so bear that with is you. definitely your coin term comfortality yeah. um i think it's I, comfortability uh, but that's okay i like it just, keep, just just nod your head and say he's gone on a on a rampage but anyway <laughs> Before the pandemic, if somebody wanted to have a business meeting with a customer somewhere, they would get on a plane, go have the meeting. It'd be one on one, two on two, whatever. I've been on more, you know, business associated calls lately where there's eight people, nine people, 10 people, Mm -hmm. all different values. And in the past, we couldn't have done that just because Mm -hmm. of logistics. And now we're being able to be included in this. And they're really wonderful. I mean, yeah, really Friday, cool. Chad, Friday, for example, with yeah. you, we were talking about that. You said, you know, with 22 no people. Way I got that thing. You're not, you're not even allowed to have 22 people in one room anymore. Like, <laughs> right. 
<laughs> to have them on a call. Yeah, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's changed. It's changed the way we do things forever. Yeah. Let me ask you one question. This is just for my own fun to see if I'm the crazy one or there's other people like me. <laughs> Should be good. Uh, are you, uh, so how many of you are podcast people? Like you listen to podcasts, audiobooks, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Always. Okay. Yep. Jim's not, which is kind of really? Jim yeah. has Jim has traditional. Yeah. No wonder he's so bad at this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tammy just reads Tammy everything. Read, Tammy reads them. All. That's it. Tammy uh, reads to him. So let me Jim's ask you this: down. So being somebody who you know, I think you have the same kind of thing happen if you're in the music, you make music, if you learn Photoshop, you know, things like that. So is it kind of ruin podcasting a little bit for you too? And listening because you dissect it and you're like, oh man, or, or in a really good way, right? Like you, you find a cadence that people are using. You get both. Right. So I think like, I just listened to some on the way home uh, traveling uh, this past weekend. It was the same kind of thing. Like I just pick it apart. Who, who did you listen? What did you listen to James? I think that's just. Uh, I, I watched the, uh, uh, I, what's the one Theo does from. Uh, it's pretty popular. I don't remember which one it is. Great job. You're doing good. Yeah, I'm really good. <laughs> no oh, no free I'm, ads. <laughs> yeah, no, please. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that on another episode. Oh, I like that. Yeah. No. no I, I, Go ahead, John. I know you for listen. Me, yeah, for me, I, I listen. There's a few that I really love, and there's a few that I, I, I tend to get lost in them, almost like books. Like, I, I don't really spend too much time um, critiquing other people, but I do listen and think of – man, that was a good idea. We should try that. Or, or that was really unique how they, how they did that. Yeah. Um, you know, as, as most, at least these two guys know, like I'm an absolute like dreamer. So like my, my, my sites are like set and I'm getting connections for life on NBC primetime, you know, and these guys are like, can we just get through the week? Um, and, and so I, I just, and it's so true. Um, but, uh, but, and sorry, I said NBC, no free ads. We'll be charging them. (laughs) Uh, but, uh, but no, I don't really, I spend a lot of time just really being engrossed in the conversation or the dialogue from the podcast. Cause a lot of the ones that I listen to are similar to the format to our show where there are a few people and they're interviewing people in a specific industry or, or for sports and things like that. And I just like tips and tricks I get from them. I think more than anything. I, uh, I find the same way you do James. I, when I listen to him, I, I kind of go two different ways. There's times where I listen to the same podcast. I've listened 270 episodes to, but now because I do it all the time, I'm like, okay, like they could have done without this 20 minutes. Like it's just boring and awful and nobody yeah. wants to hear it. Or when you get one of the, uh, and I hate to say any guess is bad, but what I mean is someone who's a, who doesn't talk, you know, yeah. Like, and you got to draw it out and, and it's your first time to really experience that or someone kind of makes a mistake and shuts down and trying to work through that is a talent. That it really, is. It is. And have, it's have great in ever, business too, but go ahead. Have you guys ever been like uh, in the process of conducting an interview and, and, and realize it was going the exact opposite of how you thought it was going to go? <laughs> Where you were like, this person's going to be no problem. And then you're struggling with them. Like you were just so wrong. We've had one or two of them. Some are like, awesome. I don't know what you're talking. Yeah. I don't. I, I, was gonna say, I don't know. I don't know where yeah. this is coming from. That's never. I've never had that. Yeah. It, it happened to you once, Joe. It, it did it. happen to you once. I'll tell you who afterwards. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd know. Uh, who I don't know why we went down this path. This is bad. Turn around. You started it. Those type of problems. Yeah. We've had actually the opposite. Like sometimes we're like, okay, we have to keep this. Joe. Yes. Yes. You know, we call them Joes when somebody's. Being a Joe, that's yeah. You know, we call just, him Jims, which is weird. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> weird. Uh, no, I call it a Joe. I call it a Joe as well. Oh, see, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, we're we're like okay, we're going on four hours. We got to We got to like, stop now. You know? Yeah, we've had a few people where like it's turned into like one question turned into a twenty-six minute answer, and oh, yeah. you're like. <laughs> Uh, like, how do we jump in here? Like, and I'm like, yeah. I'm in the chat box going, guys, come on, wrap it up. Somebody. No, no, no. But, the, but, the, but the thing about that is, is that typically, like, I don't want to cancel their, their yeah. conversation because it's all really good. It's great. Yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's just that's, where, that's where we're starting to walk that line. And I saw the same thing about, you know, do you have a podcast and you record the pregame or you record this too? And on the good ones, right. you, put it out. Look, um, you know, balancing that and trying to figure out how you provide all this because well i'm just like y'all the pre-show sometimes is the gold you get into yeah. a conversation and we always say it, we said it today 
Man, we should have been recording. Should have been recording. That. I, tell, I just said that. Yeah. I tell people all the time when we get so when we have like a pre call before we actually record. I'm like, I'll I'll tell them what the question's gonna be, and they start to answer. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa no, I don't want you to answer the it. question. I I want to yeah. hear about it yeah. the first time when you tell me. So yes, yes. So I don't know. Interesting. Do you it's believe been it's fun. been a year? It's been a year, guys. You, nope. I mean, 53, 54 episodes, something like that, yeah, right? right. Where we're at. I don't even know. I have one I, said, I, I think I, I think I won for having the most different locate recording locations, though. I'm yeah, definitely that also won for not doing the most out of all. That, that, doing, that doesn't make you a winner. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I had one. I no had argument, one, Chad. One no. for you guys. Um, you know. As the world starts to turn back, vaccinations become more popular. Travels definitely opened up. I mean, I was gone last week. I'm leaving this afternoon to go down to Pittsburgh to see uh, the one and only Mr. Chad Guvo. Um, I, I'm just wondering, like, what is the next? Let's. I mean, if we had to be a prognostic, prognosticate, like, what does the next 12 months look like? What do you guys, what do you guys think uh, is going to happen? You think we're still going to be kind of uh, a, a hybrid version of this? Will we go back full steam? Just, just kind of mm-hmm. curious what your thoughts are. Go ahead, James. Yeah, we we built this into kind of our goals rolling into this year for the for the show, and that was Same. to figure out what this looked like long term, and secondly, yeah. what it looked like in when we get back to traveling. So, you know, is it a hybrid where we actually have live, you know, slots at our booth that we're we're bringing people on? Is it a a show that you bring to a reception or or part of the agenda? You know, how do you how do we work that in? So we've been to work on that. Um, we've also been trying to get the technology where we want it to be so that we're yeah. as mobile and consistent with our product as possible. Yeah. Um, and honestly, that's a testament to the team behind Jim and I is they want to be able to get them out. They want to get them out quick. They want to get them out in high quality and consistent. And we're all for it because it makes our life easier in the product. Right. Better. So. Yeah. Uh, we're, we've been working on it. I think moving to a podcast was a big move. We also wanted to kind of go through this rebranding of it personally ourselves um, to really set it up, set up the case for this thing to be long-term, right? right? Not that we had to, I felt like, but once they saw the real version that was in our head, like, like you, Joe, we live pretty far ahead. Yeah. Above, um, above, above the clouds. Yeah. Well, it's all, again, it's been 53 episodes. How do you stop now? Like you just yeah. turn it off. I mean, it's kind of, I feel like, um, <clears throat> I feel like a responsibility to continue doing it, yeah. and, you know, to the people that watch the show. As silly as that sounds, right? People want but it. It's true. Yeah. Um, all the ones standing in line outside my window <laughs> waiting for this episode. That's just, that's just your children trying to get one. Yeah, they just want <laughs> snacks. Uh, yeah. It's interesting. No, I, you know, if we wouldn't have, we were very deliberate this year in trying to figure that out. And I, be, I feel like we have a model that can work. Now we're ready to test it, really. Like, how do we go stretch Same. the legs? And Same. what we're trying to do on the back end, really, is the boring stuff, is try to make it sustainable. Because once we do start traveling, where we can record a set of these at a time, because the on the fly and stuff is going to be a lot harder once we get out there. Sure. So, yeah, and I'm sure that's a lot too. of he's been traveling. Yeah. So see, he's in the car. <laughs> we we, rely, we, we rely solely I'm, on Apple I'm, for I'm, all of good. our recording. I'm going to get fired pretty soon. I got a feeling <laughs> from, uh, from the show. The good thing is you already live oh, okay, in the dude. car. So be fine. Fine. yeah. yeah, I think I that's, yeah what about y'all? What's what's y'all's plans as we move on? I, you know, I don't know. I don't want to speak for the group. I mean, I, I think one of the things, and we You're talked about it. But I will. Them. Yeah, I don't want to they speak for the group, Because they're not going to say anything. Ted's going to, nah, whatever. So, <laughs> no, what I was going to say was, I, I think that I want our show to be uh, more mature. And, and I don't know how else to say that other than, and I don't mean that from like mature from us goofing around less or being, I, I mean it as far as like being, um, educational and mature enough to be able to bring good talking points for the viewers. So it's um, something that they want to engage in. And, and I think one of the things that bugs me the most about our show, and we talk about it all the time is that we have so many people watch it, but hardly anyone comments. And I'm like, I, I love comments. I want people to tell us like, that was awesome. That was terrible. Or, you know what you should try. Um, to, to get better. So I, I want I, I want to be able to build the, the show to a point where we have on guests that are those mature guests that can have those 
<clears throat> excuse me, conversations about kind of what's going on, what's going on in the renewable market with fossil fuels, with greenhouse gases, with the government. Um, I think that that's a really good um, foundation to have because there's a lot of rhetoric around, you know, you hear people talking about things that just aren't true or they don't understand the facts. And I want to be more fact-based and I want the people to come on to be more fact-based to educate, not just the people in our industry, but everybody who's listening to understand why um, both have their place, you know, fossil fuels and renewables, and then how they marry together to be a better, you know, just so we have a better, a better country overall from an energy perspective. That's kind of what I'm thinking. The reality is, I don't know if we can get there. It's a lot of work. I mean, I know, like you said, James, like people see a 20, 30 minute video a week and they think, oh, those knuckleheads just put, you know, talk to it. There's so much that goes into it from booking. And we to have having to be the, the knuckleheads calls. too. Right. right. Yeah. You know, so well, fortunately that comes easy for Flip us. Flip a but, switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. That's kind of, I, I think I just want our show, if I could say in 12 months from now that we had us, we were successful, I could say that we were, we've matured and we've brought higher level content to people um you know than we have in the previous 12 that's kind of you know my thoughts but i like I, mean, how, I, don't want... I, I like how joe called out the lurkers though because yeah man, man we just want engagement i right? just there's a tough but it's really tough but, linkedin if you do any you know most of our stuff is on linkedin as you know if you yeah, do any man. research on linkedin that's all linkedin is based on is lurkers so it's yeah. very it's hard to get comments on but, LinkedIn. But, but we hear good stuff we you know we yeah. hear it all the time where Same. people are sure. like oh i love the show and you're like well, what are you the first time hey, i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> what show I, I, yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna pump this guy out a little bit I, i'm not gonna say who he is but there's a guy from new jersey natural that i had lunch with not too long ago and um a couple months ago and th- i sat down at the table and we were ordering and we went to order lunch and he, he said what are you doing here and i said because i was with uh, with our sales rep he said what are you doing here aren't you supposed to be on tv and i said what are you talking about i'm supposed to be on tv and he's like you know your show your tv show and I was like, yeah. I was still lost. Like I was in <laughs> salesman mode, you know? And, uh, and, and he was like, yeah, I've been watching it from the beginning. And it was just such a weird conversation. I was like, I would have no idea because you've never. Your, your reality you show. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> yeah. my life. Uh, it was just funny. Zoom on that one time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, that's a really cool like thing, Joe. Like I've only had one, one or two things come up like that, but it was, it was more random where a guy who was at one of the utilities and Matt was like, Hey man, my kid's a basketball player too. That's so awesome. <laughs> you're like, like, how do you know about my kid? And like, oh, your show. And, and you're like, like what show? Oh. Do you do you guys ever feel like um, that you forget that you put this out? Like, oh, I don't know how to on. say that. Like, you just, you just do it and you do a show. Yeah. And then people yeah. will, you'll talk to people and they'll, they'll mm-hmm. ask you like about this part of a show or this part. And I'm like, oh, I don't God. even really remember. I don't even remember one of the show. It. Yeah, I haven't watched yeah, it I haven't since watched I did it. it. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Yeah, it's funny. It's tough. I, actually, it's funny yeah. to say that because Lindsay will be like, "Do you do you know like what you're gonna?" I go, "I black out through the whole thing. I really do. For the most part, I black out through the whole interview, like in what we do." It's yeah, just but in weird. in your defense, you're pretty <laughs> much true. always blacked out. That is true. <laughs> it's also, well, though true. we do that, you know, we we kind of leaned into the seven habits thing because it's something. Yeah, I saw that. That was good. We teach and do, but uh, we've been doing those a lot, and that's kind of what happens during those because it's not. It's a topic that I don't even have to. I mean, we could go live right now and talk. Right, about it. and just talk. And so about it just yes. starts. And so but it's like, organic. Oh, I love That's what the you best said about that. And I'm like, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, no idea. <laughs> I had to go back and watch it myself. You know. <laughs> But, but I feel like that's that's what makes it good. That's because it's so yeah. organic. It's not yeah. a force. You don't have you don't have crib notes that you have to go make sure you check off points. You're just kind of no, not anymore. Yeah, yeah those are not, not anymore. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and you can see the delineation in our show where that changed. Like, <laughs> just, even, just even the attire, the attire that our show was started when we were began recording. Recording. Everybody hoodies. was in a button down. And their hair people down. tell us all the time, "Don't change what you do. Don't change anything of what you do. Wear the sweatshirts. Wear the hats. Wear the, like be you." We need some more EWN stuff so we can start. Still never got the new brand. We've stuff. been waiting for this episode. So as long as y'all yeah. do there we go. unboxing on on one of y'all's. Oh, I'll do it. We could do a live unboxing. That's a great idea. Oh, who did we send it all to last? And did we send everybody? Yeah, we yeah you sent it all to Ted. Oh. Basketball kids are wearing the uh, swag right now. Yeah. That's it. His name is actually eBay. EWN. His basketball is <laughs> called the EWN, oddly enough. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't know that? Listen, it's I'll funny. tell you guys, it's funny, though, it's a- because one of the comments we do get all the time is from you, too. And it's like, yeah. Chad, great hat. 
Joe, loving the shirt. <laughs> Ted, do you work for us? So engaged. You're wearing, you're wearing yeah. something every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I I call just, him Ted a guest. Like, he's like, <laughs> guys are wearing your stuff more than ours, you know? <laughs> we don't, but we, we hardly ever wear stuff. Upsco stuff. <laughs> hey, the good news, though, is we will ship out new swag because we got new coffee mugs since y'all were on. Ooh. And they're they're really sweet. I don't have one in front of me, Jimmy. You have one? Oh, yeah. I still use mine. I have mine out there. Old style, new old style. style. Yeah, I my wife is still that she drinks out of the old style every single morning. She's like, "This is this my favorite one, cup." This cup. one is my favorite cup, the one that Jim has. I just don't have it in this front. new one. It's man, yeah. it's a good drinking vessel. We've been talking about getting merch, but it hasn't happened. Just, <laughs> this is a good one. Yeah. Well, they could. That's because they put me in charge of getting the merch, and well, I guess we Jim had to do I, I don't do a whole lot of well, anything. We had to do it because there was a big black market surge of merch going out that was not really, you know authenticated approved hey, black market merchandise no. so, so you had some louis vuitton ew in bags so. it's like we did not make those yeah. i don't know guys i just i just i mean we could probably talk long enough i just i i just want to say thanks um yeah, me too. i mean not just for this stupid recording and not for doing this show i want to say thanks for like being our buddies and challenging us because you know i look at your stuff and i and i'm yeah. like yeah, I wish you we thought so of good. that. You know, I wish we could have done that. Yeah. That was so good, and I just, I just want to say thank you for always challenging us. And it's, it's kind of cool to have like, I don't want to say competition because it's not competition. I don't look at that in any way, but just peers that you can collaborate with and do something unique with. And you guys do some cool things. And I know that we've done some cool things. That you've probably yep. been like, why didn't we yeah. think of that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it drives that level of creativity. And I just want to thank you guys for, for helping us with that. Um, and, and also congratulations on your show in the one year. It's like incredible. I, I never, ever thought a year ago that we would still be sitting <laughs> never down. Never, ever thought that Jim and James would make it a year. I didn't never. think Jim would get a promotion somehow. Likewise. Either, all this, but he did. All he did was change his team. Yeah, he just changed his up. He He hasn't done anything different. (laughs) (laughs) It's all up here, Joe. It's all up here. No, and and all kidding aside, guys, it's fantastic. Um, You know, I I can't wait to see you guys again sometime soon, hopefully. Um, I know that the show is coming up at the end of the year. Um, You know, I'm really hopeful for AGA. Uh, We can get down there and knock that out again. Um, We have some cool stuff planned for that. So I think. Hey, we'll have to do a live mashup at AGA. We've got to be. We are. We will. Yeah, that would be sure. fun. So that'd be really fun. Um, <laughs> likewise with y'all, um, I you know we just we wrapped up an episode I think last week on on Seven Habits, so I've, I've got that kind of my mind. But I think we went into this with an abundance mentality, right? I mean, all of us did. So yeah. it, everything we learned, and you know, we get it. We pass emails back and forth all the time asking how you know how'd y'all do this and vice versa, yeah. and yeah. trying to make all that work so that we can bring these shows and it's it's definitely taken a village to get here. So uh, yeah. you guys, y- y'all inspire. If, if you do nothing, just never get rid of that first part of the show. That's my favorite cool. part. Appreciate I turn that. it off. No, after I appreciate that, it. But, that's, uh, that's cool. It's cool. No, you turned it on. At least, at least you turned it on. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. There's one of the couple part. thousand views. Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah, I'm one <laughs> of funny the is We've actually tried to kill that part a couple times. We try to like, we've had discussions about like, let's not talk so much about ourselves or let's not do like, you know, we kick those ideas around and stuff like that. And then everything, it it just, we come back to it naturally each week. And I don't know why, but it just, that's how it happens. That's the part that's always missing. And, you know, I feel so vested in, you know, Chad's hockey, you know, for I like everything. I just know all those. If you mind sending the check, I'll give you my address. <laughs> not that vested. He's yeah. not financially vested. Yeah. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, all good stuff. Jimmy, what do you think, buddy? Uh, I, I, I'm yeah. speechless. Whoa. I am speechless. Whoa. I, I, and I'll tell you why I'm speechless is because this is the epitome of everything that I live for in the industry is having positive relationships that foster good things by people getting together one idea leads to another and it might be two people at two different booths that are not competing but they're just talking about stuff and it's this is what we're doing and to continue on with it and to know that our relationships are helping each other and more so helping the industry just does leave me speechless and Mm -hmm. i am blessed each and every day to be part of it and to be part of your show and lives and everything and uh yeah for sure hey you made this connection right here jumbo so 
This is you yeah. did. personifies yeah. it right here. Two shows that that really. It's actually Tammy. It's actually Tammy. Yeah, I mean, actually, I knew Jim. Jim doesn't working. do anything. Jim doesn't do anything. Shh, Joe, don't tell him that. Yeah. Uh, say- give credit where credit's due. Jim's a pretty <laughs> dynamic guy, and I think we need to like appreciate that about him. You know, a lot of what you guys do, I know, is comes from the your noggin, and uh, you know, you're a little eccentric and wacky, but we love that about you. You know, and That's why we like you. I just can't wait to see you in a blue blazer again, my friend. Me too. Oh, oh, the know. blue blazer. <laughs> I've been, him. I've been right. ironing him <laughs> every day for the last year. <laughs> but that that has to be the biggest mix up of 2020 was when he says, Tammy, I need to look like I'm in the 70s. And she's on the phone and goes, Okay. Just go and get It makes him look phone. like he is 70. <laughs> uh, big difference. Yeah. yeah. Loved it. I came out with awesome. great hair. I'm like, what did you do to me? She goes, now you look like you're 70. I said, no, not <laughs> in the 70s. In the, from the 70s. Oh, I had a mustache. Damn, I put you at 68. That's it. Oh, 68. That was great. That was, that you was don't a day over you know. 69 to me. <laughs> Easy. Let, let me wind this up, guys. Let, let, yeah. let me bring this all together because something's in my head right now. And if I didn't end it with a little bit of wackiness, but I want to thank everybody in the audience for tuning in today too. Ready for this? Connections for Jim and James and Coffee for Life. I love so, Coffee for Life. See what I just did there? I think you're yeah. dyslexic. No. I am. Anyway, that might be a cool t shirt. It would be a cool t shirt to give away. I think we're setting something up for the next time. Let's uh, stay tuned for the next time. But on behalf of Connections for Life and Coffee with Jim and James, we are absolutely honored and pleased that you tuned in today. That means that you are getting something out of it. We are all thrilled about that, and we are all here committed to making our world a better place. So until next Excellent. time on either one of our what, shows, platforms, whatever, programs, platforms. Whatever, stay safe, have a great week, and we'll see you all soon. Take care. Thanks, guys. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Good to see you all.